The Empire's ultimate weapon passed unhindered through the thick of Cloden's woods, said to be impenetrable to all but bird and beast, and continued its juggernaut march north towards the gates of Castle Randgrease. Leaving the former site of the Citadel at Girlendio behind, the militia raced to the capital's southern gates to intercept it. Everyone, we've received intelligence on the weapon coming through Cloden's forest. The report identifies it as one of their most tightly guarded development projects. It closely matches plans for a terrestrial dreadnought, Marmota. It's heavily armored and carries a host of large caliber cannons. A battleship on legs. Leave it to the imps. It's one ridiculous tank after the other from these people. Furthermore, it is likely that Maximilian is aboard the Marmota in person. Are you serious? How did he get there so quickly? Regardless, we need to stop that thing, or the capital will be in danger. Oh sure, just gotta stop it. It's a battleship, boss! How are we gonna stop it? We'll be cooperating with the Randgrees Royal Guard in effecting Operation Maiden's Shield. Our job is to lure the Marmota into a canyon the Guard has lined with mines. Beyond the mines, they'll be concentrating all of their firepower to stop it. Leading it into a minefield, huh? So we're the bait. Unfortunately, yes. With Galia's army vaporized, this plan is our only real option. Once they get out on open land, there's no stopping them. It has to happen in that gully. A land dreadnought. I still can't even imagine. Welkin. Alicia, what's wrong? You look kind of down. It's nothing. I'm fine. Now let's go beat us up a battleship. Alicia.